Hello, I'm Exo. This is Exodos version 5 setup. This is a very straightforward process, but its simplicity has actually caused problems in the past, as folks seem to be conditioned to have to do everything manually when it comes to getting older games to run. Let's go ahead and dive in here. This is how your files will look once you have the collection properly downloaded. Exodos version 5 spans 7,210 files over 562 gigabytes. Most of that is the 7,200 DOS games present here in the EXO and Exodus folder. Back in the main folder, we have the Exodus catalog. This is a fun little file that covers the history and major releases of 14 of the most successful publishers of the era, and it's presented like a vintage Maxis software catalog. The Exodus manual covers just about everything you would need to know to run and enjoy the collection, but no one reads the manual, so that's why I made the videos. And this guy is the README. It's the equivalent of your quick reference setup card. Uh, hit the ground running with that guy. Here is the star of today's show, the setup file. The setup file is going to do several things, but the two most important things is it's going to extract all the files your computer needs to properly run all the games, and it sets up the front end which allows you to browse a collection, launch games, do all sorts of other fun stuff. We'll cover that later. Let's go ahead and kick this off. Right off the bat, it's going to welcome you in, and it's going to make sure you got the right files. That way we don't get halfway through a setup and find out you're missing something. We're going to go ahead and hit a key to continue, and hey, what do you know, I have all the right files, so that's a great sign. Step one kicks off, and it starts extracting the LaunchBox files. LaunchBox is the front end that Exodus version 5, and 4 for that matter, uses. You can see the uh, files populating over here in the folder. Now some of you may have a launch box set up already. And a really common question we get is, how do I take Exodos and merge that with my existing launch box installation? And that's a great question. And there is a whole other video just on that question. I'll see about linking it right here so you can get to it easily. It's also going to be listed on the main page. Now look, we're already done with step one there. Step two takes a little bit longer. We're now at the LaunchBox metadata. This one uh, is verbose. It's going to show what it's doing, and that's because in 15 to 20 minutes, uh, I didn't want people thinking that uh, nothing was taking place here or that their computer had locked up. So while this is somewhat meaningless uh, into what it's saying, it does give the user insight into the fact that the process is working. It is doing something. So what is it doing? The metadata file for LaunchBox is going to be the manuals for all the games, in this case right here, it's doing all the images. So every game that has a box that was commercially released has a cover or back or a picture of the floppy or the CD that the game came on, screenshots, title shots. We also, in version 5, have added a ton of music. So as you're browsing through the main menu, you're going to hear music from the games that we've uh, extracted music from. We're going to go ahead and let this guy run for a little bit, and through the magic of video editing, we'll be right back with step three. And we're back. Section three has just kicked off. This expands the actual XDOS files, mainly the back-end files. These are going to be the comp files that DOSBox uses to run a game, all the installer files, extras for the games. That includes things like code wheels and um, supplementary uh, addendums, anything that is not the basic manual for the game. This does take a little while to extract, especially with the addition of the 19 gigabytes of compressed magazines that have been added. However, once this is done, we will be past all the extraction and we get to just pick a few of our settings. So we're going to fast forward again and let's get over to those settings now. The first question you're going to get after all the extraction is done is whether or not you want to keep the adult games in launch box. Now, to be clear, different people consider different things adult. In this case, I went with things that were sexual content or nudity versus violence. If I took all the violent games out of DOS, you wouldn't have a lot left, honestly. Especially if you start considering some of the fantasy stuff to be violent. This is going to be like Legion Suit Larry type stuff, all the way up to the more mm, hardcore things that existed back during the time. I'm going to say no, I don't want to remove these games. That way we have everything in this install. That is going to copy the proper XMLs over. Next question. When you launch a game, do you want the default to be a full screen or a window screen? Now, when you install a game in LaunchBox, each game will have its own install. 
you're going to get to answer some of these questions again. So on a per game basis, you can change some of this stuff. What you're setting here is the default setting for every game. So if you don't change anything during the install, this is what behavior is going to take place. Uh, for me, I'm going to go with windowed mode. I like to be able to see what's going on around me while I'm playing. You get to pick what size window you want, a large one or a small one. For this resolution monitor, I'm going to go with a large window. Now at this point, it's doing some texture placement on all those comp files. It takes a few seconds and it's going to come back and ask us about aspect ratio next. And here we are at the aspect correction question. Now aspect correction is something that is simple in concept but can be difficult to explain. The basis here is original monitors were 4x3. Uh, today's monitors are 16x9, they're widescreen. And so when you take a game uh, from back then and you stretch it to fit your screen, what used to be a square pixel or a round circle becomes a flat rectangle or a elongated oval. Aspect correction attempts to fix this by presenting the game in a 4x3 structure, often by putting black bars on the side of the screen. Now this does not work for every single game. In some games, aspect ratio has to be false for them to display correctly. This is because the designers of those games, even in the 90s, realized that this could be a problem and started putting checks into their games to automatically correct it. So if we try to correct it on the DOS box side and then the game tries to correct it, we kind of give a double negative, it cancels itself out, and we have a problem. So, the point here is, in general, you probably want to enable aspect correction. Uh, that said, you have the option to change aspect correction for uh, each game on a game-by-game -game basis. So, again, you're going to pick your default setting here. I'm going to say yes. That's going to take a little bit of time as it goes through all the comp files again. And here we are. After this long, arduous process, Exodos is now set up. All we would have to do at this point is run launchbox.exe, and we're in. So in the next video, that's exactly what we're going to do. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped.